So this is part two of the tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a new calendar within Google Calendar and have them overlap and also show you how to share a calendar with another person. So let's begin. First things first, make sure you have your class schedule already loaded on here, which you should have done already in part one. Um, and as you can see, this is week zero and this is week one and the following is week two. Now, instead of me having to tell you every time which week it is, why don't I actually add it on here so you actually know which week is week zero or week one. So I'll create a calendar. I'll click under my calendars, click create, and then calendar name. I'll call this UCI event details, and I'll say create calendar. Then this calendar will show up as red. Now. I can click up here and type in, make sure I, you do this option, you click calendar, you say UCI event details, and then click edit event details, have it span the entire week, and type in week zero, and just click save, and now you have week zero here. Then I'll go to the next week, do the same thing. week one. So now what you can do is create a separate calendar called UCI event details and put down what week it is and in addition you can put down calendar holidays. You can say maybe this Monday was uh, a president's holiday and you can say UCI event details but specifically you might want to say it's all day because you have no school that day and um, you can put description, no class, and click save. So it shows up here. Whatever shows up here on the top setting is something that occurs all day um, and it's really useful to use. So I'm not saying that's a holiday obviously, I'm just saying what you could do. Uh, so you could technically go here, this calendar, uh, find out what days like Veterans Day or Thanksgiving and you can add that into this calendar for instance. So if I went to November, November 26th and 27th, I can put in up here Thanksgiving, put that for UCI event details, edit, and that spans for two days, all day, save. Done. So now I know it's Thanksgiving holiday and here, and there's no class. So let's go back to the September. So on the left hand side is your tool, or your menu, and it's really important. So if I, w I don't want, if I didn't want to see the actual holidays, I can hide them. I can click this and it'll disappear. And the blue will hide your class schedules. Now the name here is really bad and I want to change the name. So I'm going to click settings. I'm going to click on the actual name here. I'm going to go here and click class schedule because I don't want it to say my email address. It just doesn't make sense. Then go back to Google Calendar. Now I have class schedule here. If I don't if I want to hide it, I can show it or or not. Now let's create another calendar. Now this is where I was talking about creating a personal calendar versus your class schedule calendar. So for instance, let's say you have meetings and click create calendar and then it adds automatically adds here. We can change the color if we don't like it. Let's make it green. And let's say under this calendar, we'll say we have a meeting, a Sage meeting, an SS4S meeting from seven to eight. And just click save. Now, I did this intentionally. You'll notice that it came out blue and you're wondering why, why is that? Well, I forgot to click the option to change the type of calendar it was. And that could become a problem, but it's a really easy fix. All you need to do is, so we want to change this to a green color because that doesn't, that doesn't fall in our class schedule. This is a meeting. So I'll click on this and then I will click on class schedule and I'll change it to meetings, which is the type that I want and click save. And then boom, it'll change to a different color. So you can do that for everything else. Now, what if you have a more personal list? Um, let's say you, uh, let's
let's say personal, create calendar. Now he creates a calendar here, and something weird happened, actually. Let's fix that. I don't know why that happened. Personal. Okay, that fixed it. Now it's called personal cal. And toggle this a little bit. Let's say on Friday you're going to a party and change calendar to personal cal, save party. Or you're going to go shopping at 5, shopping, personal cal, create event. Now obviously maybe you don't want people to see that and that's fine. So you can create your own separate calendar for that and then you can also hide this. So let's say I just want to see my personal calendar. I hit all the class schedule and I can just see, oh, I have a party at 9 and I'm going shopping at 5 on Saturday. It can easily bring up all of this information. So the last step is I want to share my class schedule with another person. In this case, it will be someone like Elaine, but in this case, it will just be another individual uh, to show you the example. What you want to do is I want to share the blue schedule. I'm going to click Let's change the color in this case. Um, let's make it purple. And I'm going to click Settings. And I'm going to go under here, Class, Schedule. And I just want to share this calendar. Obviously, I don't want to share my other calendars. I'm going to share this calendar only. Click that. And under Share with Specific People, I'm going to type in another email address of another person I want to share this with. And I have options here. You can allow them to be able to make changes make changes to events or just see the events. I just want them to see the events. And then click add person. Now I've added this individual to that. And I'm just going to click save. If you don't click save it won't happen so make sure you click the save button. Go back to Google Calendar. Now I'm going to sign out of this. I'm going to sign in as if I was the other person. And let's see if I can find um, the class schedule of the other person. So, let's see here. So this is the class schedule of person B, my other, th this Mesa kid person. This is his, this is his schedule. I want to see Danny's schedule. Now that calendar he shared is going to show up under other calendars, not my calendars and I'm going to click on this option here called class schedule and that's the schedule I wanted to share. As you can see this new schedule shows up in red. Now for instance let's say I wanted to see if we can meet up, maybe study together and we can find a common area that have no class together. So it looks like on Friday around the morning we don't have a class schedule we can set up a meeting time to study. So the point is What's going to happen is we're going to have a lot of different calendars in different colors and they're going to overlap each other and we're going to see which area, which time frame is free for people. And this is also helpful for us in terms of determining whether we can have events on Saturdays, on the weekends, or when is the best day to hold an event. And having this calendar will be very beneficial in doing that. So that's going to end this tutorial for sharing a calendar. Um, and there'll probably be another